I kind of said it earlier, but I was thinking before that I was like, oh gosh, I remember Beisel slipping off her start. And I slipped on my, I slipped on like one of my foot, my feet just slipped right off. And it killed my momentum on the first 15 hours. I'm like, okay, like, don't panic, don't panic to panic, just do your own race. You know, push the first 50, good second 50, and then remember that last 50 needs to be really good, especially now. Um, so I think it was good, except for the first part of slipping, but I think moving forward you learn something. Uh, I think the lesson learned here was not to panic <laughs> extreme situation, or panic, but don't show it. Um, so yeah, all in all, I think it was a good, le good lesson. Not often with the wedges, um, but it, it, without the wedges, I remember I used to slip all the time. But you know, nowadays it's like not very often, unless at Worlds you saw all those people slipping on ledges, which is pretty unusual. Um, yeah, the team was super fun. The trip overall was really fun. Um, you know, the times weren't what I wanted. Um, knowing I can be better, knowing there's things I could do better. Um, but having more international experience, having more experiences doing an event overall, it was really good to learn moving forward. I think it was it was unique to say anything. Um, you know, two weeks isn't really a lot to come up and then come back down. Um, but we did our best to do that. First couple days we went and jumped back up in yards a little. But, you know, it was fun getting back to training with the big group. Um, having everybody there at the same time was really fun. Tapering with the small group's good, but when the whole team's doing it, it's a lot more, a lot more energy flowing throughout the building, so it was a lot more fun.